dupe or harm a love-struck significant other. So, here to talk about the phenomenon of catfishing and this situation is a psychotherapist Kimberly Moffat. Good morning to you, Kimberly. Good morning. So, let me ask you this. I mean, this was a guy who, you know, uh, turned a country's heart because of this inspirational story. What was your first reaction when you heard, you know, about this story, about what had happened? Well, I think that we never really know the kind of pressure that superstar athletes are under to kind of create that hero persona for themselves. And, and I think, you know, now that we're kind of hearing different postulations about what could have actually happened and that he was in on it, um, you know, it really shows that he might have had, you know, he might have felt pressure to kind of create this persona for himself in this dramatic love story to kind of get viewers on his side. Is it possible to fall head over heels in love with someone strictly online? In my opinion, no, uh, because I think that a relationship is something that you, you know, it, it involves a physical relationship with that person, as well as open dialogue and, and not just kind of an online presence. And so I always recommend for people, if they're dating online, that um, only a tiny part of that relationship is online. You have to get to the actual dates and relationship to make that work. So then this catfishing, describe what that is for us. I mean, it's, it's essentially people trying to dupe somebody on purpose. Right, and and these are obviously people that may have deeper psychological issues that are kind of doing it as a, as a prank or, you know, something that gives them satisfaction in some kind of way. And I think there are people like this that exist not just online but in the real world. And um, anytime you're dating online, you have to use your common sense just as you would um, in any other situation. So making sure you ask questions. And in today's world, we live in a world where people are very accessible through social media. So adding the person to Facebook. Right. I um, mean, and this is one of my and I. I I talked about this earlier, but this is one of my questions. If uh, Mentiteo had a girlfriend online only for three years, or was led to believe he did, or thought he did, you'd think he would Skype her, hey, let's FaceTime. <laughs> I mean, that's a long time to just have a typing on a keyboard relationship <laughs> with a person. It almost seems like a very archaic type of relationship. Exactly. To not really be asking those questions. And so I think that um, makes us kind of be critical of the situation and say, what wasn't he doing in the relationship to really open his eyes up to what might have been happening? So asking, you know, making sure that you're asking the right questions, adding someone to Facebook, adding them to LinkedIn, ensuring them that they're a real person. And you can do that in today's society. All right, so, you know, obviously this is out there. What are some of the signs you look for that you are being a victim of this if you are online, you know, uh, just doing this or, you know, going on a, one of these uh, match.com, you know, or something like that. What are the signs that someone's not real? I think that if someone's being deceitful to you in any way, then that's a huge red flag. Um, so the, so, How do you tell? So, for instance, if you go on a date with someone and, um, the, you know, obviously in your profile you have to, I think it's best to show your best self. So you may have a picture of you looking your absolute best and that's not deceitful. But if you have a picture of yourself 20 years ago, I would say that's ethically but, wrong. <laughs> right, but I'm saying, how do you know if the initial stages you're being duped? Like, you know, if someone's duping you online, saying they aren't who they are. Oh, I see. Um, well, I think the first thing that you should do is if you do, if you are considering meeting this person face to face, um, making sure that you're adding them to your social networks, checking out if they, you have any friends in common, um, seeing if their story lines up. You know, or Googling the person, right? Like, do they have an online presence? Do they have, 